Cancer and welcome to your Tarot Love Readings. Uh, we're going to take a look at who it is you might potentially end up with, settle down and get married to. Uh, as always guys, just reminding you these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So again, these readings, uh, this reading here in particular is intended for Cancer Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. So let's take a look here, Cancer, who it is you might potentially settle down with and ride off into the sunset with. Okay, where do we start here? Start in the middle. You've got the Four of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So you've got a uh, fellow water energy here. Okay, someone who I feel like is extremely creative here. Someone who is quite uh, creative, um, artistic. Could be a writer, a painter, a musician here. Um, Now this person is coming across as a little bit, they have like a tendency to maybe take things uh, in life for granted here, which I guess is most of us, right? Um, and sometimes it's hard for them to see the blessings or the treasures that lie, that, you know, the universe presents to them. Um, they tend to focus too much on what they don't have, rather, it is, rather than on what they do have. This person I feel like can sometimes be a little bit uh, like unmotivated or a little bit discouraged so this is someone who I feel like will need your support um, it, it, your support will mean a lot to this person here there's a bit of mental stubbornness I'm picking up with this person's energy here so this, maybe someone has a tendency to view the glasses half half empty rather than half full here as well I'm also seeing that, look, for a lot of you, maybe this is a relationship that doesn't begin off, and I know it's not very romantic, um, hate to burst your bubble here, but I don't feel like it's a romant it's a connection that begins off, you know, um, on this, uh, like it doesn't begin off as the two of you, you know, becoming insanely attracted to one another here. I feel like this is more of a connection in which the two of you sort of grow on each other. This is what I'm picking up on here. I feel like this person is quite creative and I feel like this person has a tendency to sort of, um, they're not very good with time management. They they can get really easily distracted here, but that's only because I feel like this person, I feel like they're always like trying to come up with new ideas. Um, they've always got new ideas either for, for a rut, like for a film script or a book or a painting or, you know, photography, how they're going to frame this or how they're going to write this. I feel like they're just always, you know, bursting with creative ideas that you find that this person can be a little bit distracted or he or she can be a little bit otherworldly. I'm seeing dark hair or I feel like this person may have like dark roots, but they dye, they possibly might dye their hair here as well. Um, Someone who I feel like they zone out, but it could be a cute quality. They tend to have this, like, they've got this dreamy uh, nature to them and they tend to zone out a lot they zone out but then again I feel like it's because you know they, they sort of their imagination runs off with them sometimes here yeah. again I just feel like this person has to be a little bit more grateful for what they have I'm also seeing that it's very likely in the future here if this hasn't happened yet for this individual in the future I feel like that it's very potential um, there's a very strong potential here for their creative endeavors to become a very successful venture in the future, provided they remain focused and stick to it, right? So strong water energy here, strong water energy. Um, and then you've got justice, someone who I feel like maybe is also, he or she could also be, they might have studied law or they somehow 
they may have family members who work for the law enforcement industry so um like a lawyer um anything to do with uh, legalities here uh, like police officer a military um officer uh, officer here um or they might have studied law they may have studied law but never have gone on to pursue an actual uh, like career or um never pursued um a job there Someone who I feel like they're very truthful, though. They're very truthful to them. You know, the truth is a big deal. This isn't someone who likes to fabricate or they won't tell you different versions of a truth. They, they'll tell you the truth, even if it means hurting you a little bit here. Um, there's a lot of passion. I'm seeing this person is very passionate, okay? They talk with a lot of passion. And I feel like the things that they truly love, they're very different when they talk about the things that they truly love. Their eyes light up. They look different, like especially when it's the, the the things that they're very passionate about like they become almost like they become like they come alive here when they when they talk about the things that they're extremely passionate about here um but this person is very fair they're very fair they're very just here so if they don't have or if they haven't pursued a career like in, in the law enforcement industry here i feel like um they would do well in such a career just because of their i feel like their energy and their nature here they're very um they're very fair and they seek truth in all matters here. So like I'm seeing either a judge or a lawyer um, or anything like a, a police, a military officer here. Um, they're also a big believer in karma here guys. They're a big believer in karma. What goes around comes right back around here. This isn't someone who likes to gossip or this isn't someone who passes judgment here. I just feel like this person is very, they try to understand things here. Okay, they'll be extremely kind, very loving. They will be very supportive here. So basically I feel like this person is a mirror of, you know, if you're, if you're that type of way, this person mirrors what you give to them here. They're very attractive though. I'm seeing this person as extremely attractive, very good looking here. Um, extremely attractive. Something about this connection tells me he's Scorpio, I'm sorry, Scorpio Cancer here. Something about this connection tells me that you will need to compromise. I, I don't know what this compromise is exactly, but I feel like it will make sense once you're there. There's going to have to be a big compromise or a big sacrifice that's going to have to be made here. This person is very good. I feel like they'll, they'll handle the finances because they're very, I feel like they're very good here. Um, they're very good with the numbers here. Um, just very good at staying on top of things here. Um, I'm also seeing that they do things, they, they do a lot of things in good faith here. A lot of things in good faith. Okay, Seven of Cups, there you go. More, you know, um, water energy here. Again, I'm getting that, yeah, this person is almost otherworldly here. Um, they're very attractive, but I feel like they're, they're not your conventional type of uh, pretty or handsome. They've got their own thing about them. The way they carry themselves, I feel like is very, um, they've got this very magnetic, alluring energy here. Now, here's the thing. I feel like more often than not, this person, you know, does have their heads in the clouds. Um, so from time to time, you're going to have to, you know, pull them back down to reality. Um, because I feel like, yeah, this person is always, there's just, there's a lot of, um, like they're always dreaming up ideas and I feel like they're always getting lost in you know working on the next project or you know um, again I'm seeing either photography or I'm seeing filmmaking writing here or, um, authorship here around this individual very creative very artistic here very creative and artistic energy here um, they do have a hard time making a decision they can be a little bit indecisive here and therefore I feel like you know, this relationship, again, I don't think it's going to have the most romantic beginning here. Okay, but if you give this person a, if you give this person a chance, um, this will be truly something wonderful. You know, beyond your wildest dreams, beyond, you know, the, the most sweetest storybook fantasy you've ever read. Um, they've got something about them. They've got something about them. There's a lot of intrigue I'm seeing. I feel like you'll be very intrigued by this person. Sometimes, you know, they'll make you want to pull your hair out because you just don't understand them. They've got this otherworldly energy. They have a way about doing things, trust me. But there's a method to their madness. Hear me out. There is. There's definitely a method to their madness. But um, 
I'm seeing that honestly if you allow this person to love you and you will honestly be whisked away to another world here that's provided you can put up with their um, idolism their romanticism oh goodness this person is quite yeah I do feel like this is someone who romanticizes a lot of things looks at the world through a rose-colored um, pair of glasses here okay you've got the king of pentacles he or she will be very successful in the future. I feel like he or she will be very established. They will go They will go on to have their own business or the two of you will go to... No. No, I don't think you will. The two of you will be... I mean, I feel like you'll be very successful doing separate things though. I was going to say you're coming together, but no, actually, I don't see that. I just feel like you've got your own thing going on and he or she has their own thing going on and together you're this like this power couple here. Um... Could be older than yourself here, but not by much. I feel like only a couple of years. Um, if this person can stay focused, I feel like they can be... They have the talents, they have the skills, they have the resources to be someone very successful. And not just on a financial level here, not just materialistically, but I also feel like um, just successful in all areas, and all aspects of their life here. Um, they love... Okay, they love money. They do. They love money. It, but it's not that they're vain or it's not that they're um, greedy or materialistic. Um, I feel like they, they're someone who associate money with success. And everyone labels and everyone measures success differently. So, uh, you know, no judgment there. But I feel like this person is, to them, money equals success or success equals money. Okay. Um, and I can see, therefore, sometimes they can be very driven and motivated by money here. But I, I feel like this person will be very successful here. I'm not seeing that it's an inheritance or it's like a... A win I feel like this person will be responsible for their success uh, their hard work here um, their determination their talents their skills here will be what you know what brings about success in their life here they're very they're very wise here very wise beyond their years or this person has this um, I forgot what the saying is. I really do. Um, but I feel like this person is... They're quite intelligent, but it's like... It's its wisdom here. It's wisdom. It's... Yeah, I feel like this person has, a, has an old soul. He or she has a very old soul to them. And maybe that's why I'm getting this age gap. Perhaps. Right? Um... They either are a CEO or they will become the CEO of a business or I feel like they will become the top of their game here. Whatever it is that they're going to do in the future or whatever it is that they're doing right now, they will become at the top of their game here. Someone to be aspired and um, admired for admired for their talents and their, their skill and their hard work ethic here. Okay guys, that's what I have for you. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I of course will be sharing more tarot love, uh, messages with you, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.